Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Place Factorio Space Exploration for what's pretty much the sort of the finishing up time now we're here out here on um, uh, whatever this planet's called. Um, Kothar, that one. And I've got the the Coverex process has been running here for a little while. As you can see that it's ticking over quite happily. These machines are kicking out the um, the 235 and then pulling it straight back in again so it can be used again. And they're at the point now where they've each one's got more than enough to run again next time, I think. I just wanted to say hasn't quite. Most of them have got enough to just about run, run again an additional time. But they haven't got enough that they're actually spitting any out yet because they'll, t they'll take in enough to run two extra times. So it'll keep going round and round in circles until this number on the beginning side gets up to 80. Then it'll pour it all out the 40 from this, pull it all back in again, but let the one extra one that's been made go round here, and then get be, get picked up by the other ones as well. That said, the, down here you can see the um, the actual uranium processing itself, it's producing the 238, is running quite happily, so that's that's caught up now, um, and it's only used about a quarter of the uranium that was up here in order to do it. Now that's a bit unfair, because there's a good um, 50, 55,000 in that station, and another um, uh, 14,000 in this station. So there's quite a lot sort of in, in the chest at the moment. So I'm not, uh, despite the fact that I appear to have, this has gone down from, what was it, 222, I think, to about 170, which is almost a quarter of it. Um, I'm not too, I'm not so worried about the amount of that that seems to have disappeared. Um, up here we've got a little bit of uranium. This this was me, t I took a, um, about... I don't know, it was about 20, I think, out of one of the machines and dumped it into the thing that makes the actual fuel cells, just so that I've got enough to keep it to keep it tight, uh, to tide it over. And one of the reasons I, I need to make sure I've got plenty of power is that I've put productivity modules in all of these machines. I don't know whether that's entirely necessary, really, to be honest, um, but it seemed like a good idea, just to make sure that the um, iridite goes as far as possible. So each of these are all, they're running a bit slower than they would normally, but they are also producing significantly more output than they would, should, would normally for the amount of input that's put in. So I'm going to leave it like that for now and see see if they're still fast, see if they're fast enough like that. Um, so as obviously I've built up the, as you can see, I've built up the um, iridium processing here. Uh, that's that's since the last episode. We've got the plastic, and I'm now pulling in cryonite and vulcanite. So sort of ice and fire being pulled in over here by this uh, delivery cannon chest. The cryonite is being fed in here with the plastic acid and steam, and that makes these blue bead things that are one of the um, one of the ingredients I require. That's all I really know about them. Um, and then the iridite itself is coming in here, crushed into the crushed stuff, which is then washed with water uh, to produce the crushed and stone. The stone's passed off down a waste chute. We then combine that with the uh, the blue beads from earlier and some more water, and that creates this is this is a bit of a mess really. It, this machine, when it runs, it's not, it takes in the beads, the, the crushed stuff, the water, um, and then it spits out powder, some of the crushed stuff that hasn't been powderized properly, some, some of the beads, and some sand as well. So we've got sand going down another disposal chute here, the beads in, and the uh, crushed stuff being passed back around here, as you can see, sorted onto the appropriate side of the belt, and then fed back in to get back into the inputs. And I've got this splitter here with the priorita prioritization on the input to make sure that this bit never clogs up. And it always, it, so it'll always use this side first rather than this side. And that's, that's working perfectly, as you'd expect. From there, it's then passed into the um, industrial furnaces with the vulcanite, and that cooks it. In, that cooks the powder into the ingots, which you can then feed into the um, uh, delivery cannon here. Delivery cannon passes the all of that back to Norvis, much as you'd expect. Drops it into this receiving chest down here, which is picking up all kinds of different things. Uh, so we've got ice coming, and we've got holm. I think that's holmanite, uh, iridite, cr uh, eventually cryonite, but that's not set up yet. And in theory, vitamelange whatever this is, extract, I think it is, I, f I forget exactly, but that stopped, and I think that's due to the train problems that we were having on Tulip earlier, so one of my priorities once I've got um, the, the Iridite planet finished off is to go to Tulip and uh, and sort that out, and then go to Myokin and sort that one out as well, because we've had all kinds of power generation problems over there. And as discussed earlier, whilst I'm on Tulip and everywhere, ex yeah, yeah, probably Myokin as well, actually, I'm going to set up um, more... Um, asteroid uh, meteorite defense cannons because I'm a bit fed up of having random bits of my base blown up every every so often just by um, by stray rocks. 
So those are being fed down a belt over here. We've got these cannon, delivery cannons. I've looped the um, capsule belt round and back up here because I was getting a bit fed up of trying to string wires through more belts through this gap down the middle. So now up here we've got another pair of cannons. This one's doing the um, uh, the iridite, and this one will eventually start doing crotinium. Um, at the moment, there's no cannon to fire the crotinium here because the only one that is available. Let me check that actually. I don't, in fact, no, it's, it's worse than that. There isn't. If I look on frost, there isn't a cannon firing the um, uh, firing the the vulcanite. No, the cryonite. Because we've got one here that's firing ice and one that's firing the barrel beryllium. So, and there isn't really space to squeeze in another one around here. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to go over here and, and sort that out. I think and and go over with a load of repair packs and fix all of this up and apparently repair that um, pylon and. Yeah, build, um, and also build up another defensive cannon here. Uh, satellite, def no, meteorite defense cannons here as well because it's just getting everywhere is just getting a bit beaten up, and I'm, I'm getting fed up of it. <laughs> I mentioned in passing that I've got the um, the disposal chute here passing out sand and stone that comes out of this process. That is being passed around here to be used in any steps of building stuff where it's needed but we're producing it from here from here a lot faster than it's actually being used so I'm also just recycling it into landfill um, eventually this chest might fill up but it's going to take a very very long time so I'm trying not to worry about it we'll just have to see how it goes but I had to put this in because this belt had backed up all the way up into here and stop and stopped this step running so something needed to be done and that was something therefore it needed to be done otherwise what else is going on so this sulfuric acid um, station is still still filling up gradually. It was 66,000 at the moment. Uh, is everything still... Yeah, these machines are still running happily. It's just producing it fairly slowly, but that doesn't seem to be a problem. We've got some... How much have we got? We've got 8,500 up here, so this is still running happily. These chests are filled up now, so we can more or less... We've almost stopped using it. It's just this, these, these sets of miners up here and a little bit here that need to, uh, to finish off a little bit. And down here in the erudite pickup, yep, that's completely jam-packed full as well. So again, we don't actually need to bring any more uh, sulfuric acid down here. We've got, and we've got minus 67,000, we've got, so we've got 33,000 down here. So that's going to keep it going for quite a while. So one of the things I was talking about quite a lot in um, in an earlier episode, probably about two, I think two episodes ago, was making sure that I brought all of the stuff I needed with me to, uh, to the planet. So... We had the, um, the system here on Norvis that you remember, where I had my shopping list in these in these three uh, combinators here. So all these things were making sure that everything I wanted went into this into the rocket before it launched and, and uh, took me over with it, uh, so that in theory I could just land, set everything up, and wouldn't have to worry about everything. Well, let's see how how did how did that go? Well, if we look in these chests up here. We can see what's left over. So some things I was mass I massively overestimate, uh, underestimated. No, I massively overestimated on. So I brought a bit more belt than intended, but as a percentage, that's not too bad. I mean, I, I brought out something like eight or nine thousand, and to have, and that says so maybe ten percent left over, which I think that's kind of acceptable. The transmitters, yeah, I overspect on those a bit. Um, the pulverizers brought far more of those than I needed. Um, heat pipes, I'd say some of these these things are about right. Uh, the, boil the boilers are a bit over. Where I got really carried away was these underground belts and the um, assembly machines. I've got far more of those than I need. But most of this, I mean, and more chemical plants, yeah. But a lot of this is things like, it's it's all relatively cheap stuff. I don't feel bad about bringing too much of it because I'd rather have far more than I need. Uh, okay, we didn't do quite so well with the heat pipes. Our <laughs> and the splitters are a bit crazy as well. I'd rather have far more than I need than be missing stuff. As it was, I did end up having to make uh, quite a lot of electric mining drills. Um, there's 100 in there. I ended up making 300. So I was about, call it 250 short. Um, and I only cut it off, I think, about 100 early as well. So. I need a, obviously need a lot more mining drills on this planet than I did on the other ones, and a lot more than I expected. But then I think that's probably because a lot of these patches are really are really quite big, sort of big spread out patches. But then I could also, if I wanted to, I could go around here and prune out some of these now, and I could probably have made another another patch if I'd need another mine if I'd needed it. Because you know the the little ones around the edge, you tend not to have very much um, ore available underneath these patches, uh, the, right at the edge. So the edge, the very edge, mining drills run out 
relatively quickly and so they go they go red like like this and the stop icon say so, say so they're done um up here in the yeah you're saying you've got same up here all of these are finished and and probably in the stone as well so i i could perhaps have sort of scraped scraped through with 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 fewer but having made an extra having sort of needed an extra 200 over what i brought i think it's it's probably it's probably a good thing that i was able to build some make some of these in situ so um and that wasn't too difficult. It's just sort of half a dozen assembly machines and a furnace. So, and the furnace was actually required as well to make the uh, these stone slabs that are used for the circuits that are used for um, for these for the ammunition for my um, meteorite guns. And that's something that I would definitely need to have anyway, because um, this is this is a this is a consumable. These get used up, whereas everything else I've put down is you you, you once it's placed, it, it's basically done until I come back here because I need I don't know a faster production of iridite or something like that. So yeah, I think things are going pretty well. Um, the coal appears to have gone single side of the belt, which is annoying, but not a problem. I mean, the throughput doesn't seem to be high enough for it to for it to actually matter. Um, perhaps I should just do that. <laughs> and there we go. Now we'll um, pull out of both sides. And yeah, because of the way that's all wired up, I think that should still be capable of providing a full belt if it's needed. Um, and it makes it look a bit neater if it's on both sides of it. I mean, some of them, like the steel, it's not because I'm not producing enough of it. But yeah, I, I don't, I don't really care about most of it. The only thing is the the coal gets used up at quite a, quite a rate when this all of the all of the um, the oil stuff kicks off. But at the moment, it's only being used for sulphur, so it's not too bad. Right. So I think that is this planet done now. I can put a big tick across this because the iridite is flooding out of it. All of the inputs, everything is is set up, and and working happily. This is caught up from the amount of iridite because I've not used any yet. So all it's had to do is fill up the belt down to here, fill up the no, and then fill up the belt at the other end as well. So that's not not an enormous amount of it used, but hopefully it'll be fast enough to keep up once I start using it. Over here, this is an input that's won't we have to worry about that on another planet. This is fully set up here. The only thing that isn't sort of in a stopped and stable position is the um. It is the the Coverex process over here, and to be honest, I think I trust this to actually just just finish off without any further supervision. The only very slight concern is whether it can do that before all of this fuel is used up. But there's quite a lot of fuel up here, so I expect it will be okay. I've got a decent amount of steam. These tanks are still almost half full. That's 800, almost 900,000 steam. Well, that does tick down quite quickly. Looking at that. And then we've got all the accumulators here, of course, that are just providing a little bit of extra backup just in case. And I mostly only put those out because I had them. Um, otherwise, I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't have bothered. <coughs> so, I think that's basically it for this planet. I can now consider picking up some of this stuff in these in these chests, taking it, putting it in the rocket to take back with me and put it into the next rocket for when I go off to another place. But I think I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave this here just to sort of as spares for repairing for expansion that sort of thing so it might be that at some point i might realize that i actually need quite a lot more iridium than i'm creating at the moment and if i've got all of this stuff in these chests up here and in fact let's put a stack of robo ports in there as well then that means if necessary i can just expand this i can double all of this just by copying and pasting and using the bots to do all the hard work for me I might run into some slight issues with belt throughput down here, but if necessary, I could just copy that, basically this part, and put it in up here completely separately. So there is there is always there's a way to expand if I need to. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do now, I'm going to call this planet done. I'm going to walk around this um, refueling thing here. Oh, and one of the other things, after the mess that happened on Tulip, I decided the best way to deal with that was just to run, was just put, replace the, um, have, instead of trying to use rocket fuel for the trains, because that isn't being made here, I thought I'd just drop in another coal drop station, so we've got another, we've got coal pack pouring through here, and then these trains will be, I can't look at that. Uh, they're, they're still running off, off uh, rocket fuel actually, but eventually they'll, when necessary, they'll just fill up with coal and yeah, they'll run a bit slower, but but who cares, they, they're not in exactly in high demand at the moment. Right, rocket time. 
So I'm going back to Norvis, going to the Norvis landing pad. There's not much stuff in here. I've picked up the sort of the, the random stuff that was left over from the from the rockets that I flew out here with. So we've got two of these um, space capsules. We've got some bits of rocket from the one that landed and was recycled. And we've got a bit of scrap from the one that crashed as well. And I can recycle all of that. Oh, and that box has got stuff that doesn't really belong up here as well. Okay, Norvis, Norvis landing pad. Let's go back home again. <laughs> Although not for long, because as I said, there's a lot more to be getting on with on other planets now. As soon as I, as soon as I've left here. Okay, this is. There we go. Coming into land again. Do, 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 do. And now we can just do a little bit of tidying up. Um, let's put <laughs> my inventory's filling up with. Oh, I see. That's these things being condensed into the um, into the into into the packed ones. That's okay. Now, how much of this is nonsense? I'm going to my inventory's a bit full, so I'm just going to clean that out a bit, so that I've got room to actually. Oh, I brought the logistics robots with me. Rats! I didn't mean to do that. I meant to leave them behind. Oh well. Never mind. <laughs> Oh nice, the um, compacted rocket, the stacked rocket sections are almost automatically getting taken back over here into my recycling. So I just need to take these ones and put them over. Where's the chest? There. And I guess take these, tie them away over here. What? I'll worry about that in a minute. So what I've done over here, which I'm reasonably pleased with, is now that I, because I've got the um, the rocket systems, the recy rocket recycling going ahead. I'm getting a lot of these stacked rocket sections. And what I was doing before was I was building rocket sections up here and then unloading them onto this belt where they go down and they'd be turned into rockets. And when I was just throwing them away because my rockets weren't recyclable, that was fine. That made that made sense. It worked quite nicely. I was also then feeding them into this machine to make the stacked rocket sections in order to take those with me to other planets in order to build the rockets to get home again. Again, fine. But now I'm bringing back, a, bringing back a lot of rocket sections. I need somewhere to put them. So this chest here fills up with the stacked rocket sections. They're brought in automatically by logistics bots. And they're then passed around here into this machine, which unpacks them and puts them onto the belt ahead of this one. So in theory, this one should never actually run and never need to build any, any more rocket sections. I'm going to turn that into a stack inserter because I'm not sure whether it's going to be quick enough. There we go. And hopefully that'll now keep this uh, running off all of the recycled ones before I actually need to build any other ones. Next step. Okay, so now I'm going to start thinking about heading off to another planet again. And that means uh, I need to have a good look at those planets, think about what I want to take with me, make sure it's all in the rocket. Um, the rocket has filled up with stuff because I forgot to turn off turn off all of the inserters before I, or the, the turn off the shopping list before I launched which is somewhat annoying um, I may need to pull a lot of this yeah I will need to pull a lot of this just back out again which is very annoying <laughs> but I'll do that off camera um, so I'm gonna have a look at um, so I need to go to I need to go to frost to put in a cryonite gun I need to go to Tulip to tidy up the trains. I need to go to Myokin to tidy up the power generation. And on each of those planets, I need to do a bit more tidying up anyway as well. So, I think that could be a thing for the next episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.